Uh, coming forward, but probably one shot too late. Yeah. Could have come forward on the drive volley initially. Yeah. Something we certainly have witnessed has been her strategy. for both players with Raducanu in the end. Just uh, some aggressive returns, getting the break. One love. First game. The form leading into the Australian Open has been patchy. Best. Nice variation, obviously, from Medicano. A lot of times, just in a player, it's about instinct, understanding court positioning. Coven is just still going to feel that pressure on that second serve. This is a very good start from the 17th seed. Oh, she's made it. Really nice inside out forehand. Love 30. Oh, she's doing. Same, just good depth on that. I see Radu Kanu defended pretty well, but good setup, good load on that back leg from Covenant. Well, Kovinic says one of her favorite shots is a drop shot, but she'll need to do better than that. That's why it's uh, the best game, yeah. certainly yeah. from Kovinic. Timing yeah. our ground stroke now. But it that one just 132 miles an kilometers an hour, sorry, on the second serve. For me, so, so much of it is about the feel of the grip when you're switching from your forehand to your backhand.
That's good. That's perfect. So it's been quite a turnaround here. Quite slow. Her opponents in the uh, 180 area. So uh, affecting rather kind of serve. Just a bit of fast as 152, but still below her best. So good effort though from Kovinic. Hundred and eighty five kilometers an hour. Perfect. I spoke about the fact she likes her drop shot, and that one was executed beautifully. I like how she followed that in a little bit, too. You can see her just inching forward and then able to quickly regroup with her feet. Good timing on that lob. And smart to go cross court over the backhand side. That blister is an issue. It'll be the forehand using the, the real palm of the hand will take the impact, whereas on the backhand she'll get a lot of support from the left hand. So well. Sometimes those faster shots are easier to hit that drop shot off there, but the, how hard she hit at that slice, it looked like it was going to go deep. Yeah, this is good stuff from Kovinich, taking full advantage of the situation. Speaking of, the her kind of hand is taped and she's very hesitant on serve and very hesitant on forehand. Kovinich. Yeah. Well, it's all one way traffic at the moment for Kovinich. Five consecutive games. Good choice there on that short ball. Nice approach there. Had to hit up over the higher part of the net and to approach Shibata Kanu's back. Wow. That's a good get. Great return to start off the point. Good get from Kovinich. And got a lot of pace. Aggressive forehands of the match. I'm not sure whether she's decided to hit with a sore hand. I'm going to hit it. The final backhand strike. Just uh, stopping the momentum, maybe just temporarily, as Kovinic still with a lead, 5-4. Well, excellent. 
Love from Kevin. So Kovinic has done exceptionally well Six after a poor start. She's turned things around. Opening set going her way. 6-4. Coming up with his sliced forehands and doing a pretty handy job. 30 40. And she held that. Good serve. Yeah. It's quick down the centre, 187 to the forehand side. It's wide, so kudos to Raducanu here, who's... Uh... Well, I suspect she's never hit so many sliced forehands <laughs> in her life, Jill, but, you know, again, she can't stop and say, I've got an injury, we'll play tomorrow. No, she has to find not. an answer. Well played. Yeah. She's so comfortable hitting to the backhand corner. She loves the backhand cross and the forehand inside out, and she's going to have to figure out how to open up. Showing she too can hit a quality drop shot. Got a corner up to a, a very positive start in the second set. It was such a well-timed drop shot. I mean, beautiful touch. Great underspin and Kovinic, if that didn't have that backspin, I think she would have gotten. Yeah, good stuff from Kovinic, I think. Realising she needs to direct more play. Hakano is hitting over it, has no speed, no racket head speed, therefore no spin, no depth, and it's easy pickings. And she's just giving Kovinich that off pace slice where she has to create her own pace off that backhand side. So, quick, 197. Yeah, absolutely. And I think Kovinich to me still, when she has those put away shots, she's still going to the backhand side pretty often. But I think that's just her nat her comfort zone is to go inside out. This is good strategy from Maricardo. Try and bring her opponent forward. It's the only 
weapon that she's got at the moment. Sometimes she's just trying to hit it deep, but she's really creating quite an angle on both sides on that slice. I like that play. Yeah. That's going to be part of her repertoire, surely, I think, if she's going to get... I always said at the beginning of the match that she is comfortable moving forward at that net. She usually is coming into the net behind something very strong, good approach. more of that strategy. She's trying to run around to get a forehand side. Allowing her to move forward into the net. Yeah, again, the strategy of bringing privilege forward is working a treat. Yeah, I think it's good to try and use that drop shot right away, too, right from the first shot on the forehand side. I mean, that's... Oh. <laughs> oh well, she's enjoying that because I, I doubt she's ever played that shot before, perhaps even in practice, and if she had... With the pain of the hand, you've got to use whatever you're capable of. Well, I mean, I don't know if she's ever practiced that shot, but I think she's getting an understanding that she hit. That's a bit of volley. From Kovac, so the backhand volley looks a little more secure than the forehand. Yes. That was good control on that volley, and I like that she went deep. And it's that, that hard, flat one that Raducanu is able to get that chip. Yeah. Again, you should be coming into the forehand, surely, of Raducanu. Of course, anytime you come in on a cross court ball, you're leaving so many options mm. open. There you go. <laughs> Big moment here in this context of this match. Great composure from Kovanich on that slice. 
And also, it didn't have to make it too good. It was good disguise. Drop shot not good enough from Kovinic. Being smart now. Good point. Good slice right there. Again, using that shorter part of the court. That's a tough one to hit, and I thought Kovinic did a good job of trying to get that ball deep, but Raducanu so quick on the base. Oh, good wow. reach. 30, 40. What a great point overall from both players. Good rallying. Kovinic, another, another really good approach shot on that slice. And it's wide, so yeah. break back for Kovinic. Top of the tape looks as if she wants to come forward and then realizes no nope, I have to back off Starting, things are getting desperate. I think it surprised Coke. Any of us was expecting that. That was well done from Radu Kanu. She was going for that height on that one, which I thought was a good play. Turning point, that game was massive for both players. I took the match's point of view that she's prepared to hit over a couple of forehands there and obviously didn't have as much pain perhaps as she thought it might. And it was the turning point. Yeah, I mean, you got to wonder if she's starting to feel a little bit better. 
Um, I think the tape maybe around the wrist to hold the other tape in on the hand, probably helping secure that a little bit more because that's the first game we've really seen her come over. That's good. Good stuff from Kovinich being more proactive in this game. Love the opponent. Well, I think it's just a couple of really good returns right from the start as well, putting Kovinich in a good offensive position. That's how she was hitting her return in that first set with a lot of pace. Yep, nicely done. Smart to continue going for that short part of the court and not necessarily a huge backspin drop shot. It has more pace on it, so it stays nice and low. Change ups. Well done from Kovinich. And just inside the baseline, that one right there, that was such great depth. I like that she ran around to take a forehand on that one. Well, before the match, it was her opponent who said she liked a forehand and her drop shot. Well, execution of the drop shot. She got a little bit too excited to finish Jeez. that point. Yeah. Oh, it's and just long, down. so Radicano manages to snatch the second and set. The it was a down. set. There's so much variety from the Brit. Set all. Didn't time it to perfection, but good enough. That low slice, she's done that a couple times now, and she has good touch on that side. It's this disguise there that was so effective. Just doesn't need to be so flat. Passing shot is just wide. Jeez. An important hole for Kovinic. She was under stress, settled herself. Nice, short angle. Oh, that 
that was a really smart choice. I mean, I wasn't expecting that. She lined up like she was going to hit with a lot of pace and then just quickly at the last second, nice roll inside out. absorb a little pain to be more aggressive on the forehand. It's just long, I think. I think that was a great point from Radu Kanu. I mean, you can tell the way she's just approached. She's made it, I think, just on the line. A break point down for her to come into the net. We haven't seen her make that choice voluntarily that often. She's been forced to come in with all the drop shots. Radu Kano has hit. Poor drop shot. Would come forward, build pressure. Yeah, this took the pressure off Kovinich and got there easily. So back to Juice. That was a good change too. She's been taking that one down the line more majority of the time, so Beautifully struck, she likes that backhand, steps into it. I like after she hits these backhands too, allows her back leg to come around. That just helps you keep your balance better. Hesitated, wanted to come forward. This is getting better and better. And Kovinich also all of a sudden having to adjust with the fact that Radu Kanu is getting more aggressive on that forehand side. Got so nice and low with the legs. Again, that's how she's been able to redirect that pace. Well done, Kovinich. Working each other over. Early games in the third set. Found a way of getting the job done. And the quality is, uh, has risen. Both players finding their best. 
And uh, Kovacic needing to as Mercado seems to be a little more comfortable hitting over the forehand. But I almost feel like Kovacic prefers that. Well, it's interesting, as you said, Jill, I think Kovinich enjoying the extra pace. So the break ultimately going the way of Coven. Hits that shot beautifully, no panic, just a controlled roll. That backhand side, I mean, she's got such great hands, so it's tough to really predict what she's going to do. She does hit that angle extremely well, but we've seen her also hit the lob. So more twists and turns in this match. Oh, made it. Just really smart choices. I mean, that slice right there. That one is so hard to generate your own pace, and you can see Kovinic is struggling with. More topspin, especially on that forehand side. Kovinic deals with that one really well. Gets that hand through the ball so quickly. With mid court forehands from Radikan. Oh, what a great serve. Oh. Well, she's had more success with the break points, Kovinic. Perfect decision. Yeah, it was this approach out here from Vatikani who just got too close to the ball, so didn't wasn't able to get enough pace on that approach shot, and also too central in the court. Covenant just had so much time on that lob. never panics when she comes to the net. I mean, that's something I think is a huge asset for her at just 19 years old to be able to feel that comfortable and not panic.
giving Reddick Harris some of her own back. I think she's realizing that that's the play that's been working for her is hit that drop shot right back. Turn swing so well didn't try and have that big swing on that backhand that was so crucial to be able to redirect that pace It's good straight down the tee boy an opportune moment for an ace But delivering 40, 30. It's good. Oh, wow. The US Open champion is gone and Kovinic gets the win for her career.